Welcome to Top 10 Archive. It's always a shame to work so hard on something, put in countless hours of work only to wind up completely hating it. Imagine it being something that's immortalized forever in film. Something that you're constantly reminded of because people keep, well, putting it on lists like this. For the following 10 actors and actresses, this installment brings face palms, dredging up the movies in their filmography that they blatantly hated. Number 10, Katherine Heigl, Knocked Up. Not every actress's opinion about their own movie matches up with the popular one, and when Katherine Heigl spoke ill about the 2007 Judd Apatow comedy, Knocked Up, she was standing relatively alone. While the movie can be credited with helping her achieve A-list status, Heigl has spoken about how she felt it was a little sexist and paints women as humorless, uptight shrews. While she later backtracked a little and called it the best filming experience of her career, her words, it's hard for me to love this movie, were already out in the open, impossible to retract. Number 9. Bob Hoskins, Super Mario Brothers Video game movies typically go one of two ways, incredibly awful or mildly bad. While the film adaptation to Super Mario Brothers is universally known for being really imperfect, it still has a cult following. One person not among the film's supporters happened to be one of the two starring actors, the late Bob Hoskins. In two separate interviews with The Guardian, Hoskins showed no restraint in telling exactly how he felt about the disastrous production. When asked what the worst job he's done was, what his biggest disappointment was, and what he would change about his past, all three answers pointed right back to Super Mario Brothers. In 2007, Hoskins recalled just how terrible making the movie was, calling it a nightmare and blaming the arrogance of the married directorial team. Number 8. Bill Murray, Ghostbusters 2 Sequels are a hit-or-miss scenario, and Ghostbusters 2 happened to be among the few that mostly hit. Huh? Oh, at least that's what our writer Mark is telling me to say. Though fans may always have a place in their hearts for the 1989 follow-up to the successful supernatural comedy, Bill Murray can't quite say the same thing. The curmudgingly actor has spoken out against Ghostbusters 2 on several occasions, referring to it as rather unsatisfying and disappointing. His disdain for the sequel, which ended up being a different movie than the continuation he thought he agreed to, mainly stems from the amped-up special effects, which Murray claims pushed the Ghostbusters and the film's story to the back burner. Number 7. Christopher Plummer, Sound of Music Awful, gooey, the sound of mucus. These may not be the words you expect to be used to describe the 1965 classic The Sound of Music, a movie that currently holds a fresh rating of 86% on Rotten Tomatoes and an 8 out of 10 rating on IMDb. But they were, spoken by the film's leading male, Christopher Plummer. During a roundtable interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Plummer revealed that his most challenging role was his portrayal of Captain Von Trapp in the sentimental Robert Wise film. On why it was so difficult, Plummer labeled the movie as awful, sentimental, and gooey, stating the difficulty in adding humor to it. Number 6. Channing Tatum, G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra On some rare occasions, critics, moviegoers, and actors all find harmony in their collective hatred for a movie. G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra brought the trio together in 2009, receiving disdain and groans of disappointment from all around. During an appearance on The Howard Stern Show, even Duke himself, known in the real world as Channing Tatum, spoke out against the movie. Forced into the role of G.I. Joe's first sergeant by a three-picture deal he had signed with Paramount Pictures, Tatum is not shy in saying that the script wasn't any good and that he effin' hated the movie. Number 5. Michelle Pfeiffer, Grease 2 When she first took on the role of Stephanie Zanoni in the ill-fated 1982 sequel to the classic musical Grease, Michelle Pfeiffer was far from the household name she is today. I was young and didn't know better, she had stated, justifying why she starred in a movie that she would later claim that she hated so much. Speaking to Hollywood.com, Pfeiffer exclaims that she hated Grease 2 with a vengeance, and could not believe how bad it wound up being. Despite the actress's own views and the overall failure of Grease 2, the movie still went on to earn a cult following. Number 4. Halle Berry, Catwoman 
At MTV's 2005 Razzie Awards, Oscar winner Halle Berry lifted her newly acquired trophy in the air and gave Warner Brothers the best thank you one could give after starring in the production company's bombshell, Catwoman. First of all, I want to thank Warner Brothers. <laughs> thank you for putting me in a piece of shit god-awful movie. <laughs> Barry serenaded the audience with a bitter acceptance of the movie's overall panned status, ignoring entirely her own part in the film's negative reception. Poll 100 people on the streets on whether or not they liked Catwoman, and you'll likely find that Barry's opinion matches the general consensus. The movie earned four Razzies, including Worst Picture and Worst Screenplay. Number 3. Robert Pattinson, Twilight when you get a chance, Google the phrase, Robert Pattinson hates Twilight, and you'll get a surprisingly high amount of very accurate results. There's even a Tumblr page dedicated to Robert Pattinson hating on Twilight. But where would people get the notion that the pasty-faced actor hated the popular film series? Oh, just from Pattinson himself. Over the course of many Twilight-centric interviews, the actor mentioned how much he hated his character, Edward, and has thrown many snide remarks around about the books, the series' author, Stephanie Meyer, and the ridiculous situations that the characters continuously find themselves in. Number 2. George Clooney, Batman and Robin Remember when George Clooney lost his mind for a minute and thought it would be a fantastic career choice to don the bat cowl in the second Joel Schumacher-directed Batman movie? He remembers it too, but instead of being able to shrug it off like the many Bat fans that hated it, Clooney has to live with his decision and continues to apologize for it. During the New York Comic Con panel for Tomorrowland, Clooney recalls apologizing to Adam West, specifically for the suit's infamous nipples and the puntastic Mr. Freeze. Chill. In an interview on The Graham Norton Show, the suave actor called the movie a disaster, confirmed that he will always apologize for Batman and Robin, and even admitted that he feared the film had put an end to the Batman franchise entirely. Number 1. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Red Sonja There's no denying that Arnold has had his fair share of terrible movies. Heck, he played opposite Clooney in Batman and Robin. But the one he pinpoints as his worst was the 1985 adaptation of the Marvel comic Red Sonja. The Conan the Barbarian Vixen had a steady, standalone run until 2015, with a critically panned movie thrown into the mix in 1985. Though Conan was absent from the film, Arnold was given the role of Lord Kalidor, and he's regretted his decision to sign on ever since. He finds the movie so deplorable that he claimed to use it as a threat of punishment against his children. Apparently, they've only seen the movie once.